Supreme Court has overturned a decision that would have allowed a Dallas woman to terminate what her physician called a non-viable pregnancy. The ruling was issued after the woman, Kate Cox, already left the state for the procedure, according to her attorneys. CBS Austin's Andrew Freeman joins us live from downtown where this emergency procedure was granted first. And Andrew, this case has really garnered national attention. Walt, that's right. I was here at this courthouse late last week that a judge granted Cox the medically necessary abortion she was seeking. But after a challenge from the Texas Attorney General, her attorneys with the Center for Reproductive Rights say Cox has left the state because she's been in and out of the emergency room and she can't wait for a procedure any longer. Hours later, the Texas Supreme Court issued a ruling in favor of the Attorney General despite national medical groups filing emergency briefs urging otherwise. This is a grave threat to people in Texas, to women in Texas, and to medical professionals in Texas. President and CEO of the legal and public policy nonprofit Democracy Forward, Sky Perryman, says the emergency court briefs her group filed on behalf of two national medical groups collectively represent tens of thousands of doctors across the country. Whose hands have been tied as a result of an attorney general that is not protecting the health and well-being of Texas women. She says Cox having to flee the state isn't just a dangerous precedent for her, but millions of other women across the state. It could lead to more medical complications. And we also know that there are many people, many uh, millions of women in Texas who are not able um, to travel outside of the state to get the care that they need. Cox is close to 21 weeks pregnant. In a historic move, she went to the courts last week to ask for an abortion after a physician determined her fetus had full trisomy 18, a lethal fetal anomaly. The courts granted her request, but it was swiftly blocked by an emergency stay requested by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Care that is necessary for her life, for her health, for her future fertility, for the well-being of her family. But president and attorney for the nonprofit Texas Values, Jonathan Sines, says he wants to know who's advocating for the child. We haven't heard a lot of talk about the baby's life, and that's what Texas is about. He points to a 2020 medical study that looked at a 26-year-old woman who was diagnosed with a chromosomal deformity, also known as Edwards syndrome. The same study says there's about a 1 in 10 to 1 in 20 chance of living past the age of 1 with that diagnosis. One of the things this study says is that early detection and parental education has a lot to do with babies uh, surviving well into adulthood. Only about 50% of babies diagnosed with Edwards syndrome live past the first week. While Sines says there aren't any legal penalties for leaving the state to get an abortion, he hopes Cox will choose to get a second opinion. And I hope that she, um, you know, my opinion, she's not exploited by the obsessed pro-abortion movement and that she knows that baby has a chance to live and she has a chance to continue to be a mother. Cox's attorneys didn't share where she was going or any further information about an out-of-state procedure. We reached out to the Texas Attorney General's office for comment, but haven't heard back. Reporting live in Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Andrew, this is generating a lot of opinions tonight. Texas Democratic Party Chairman Gilberto Hinojosa issued a statement about the issue saying, quote, no child or adult should be forced to carry a pregnancy to term against their will. Medical decisions should be between patients and doctors. But here in Texas, Ken Paxton can make your medical decisions for you, even if that means your life is on the line, close quote.